He did one thing extremely well. What? He handled that press conference unbelievable. Oh, yeah, and I'm going to tell you this. It's yeah. worth saying that, yes. And I'm saying Tuesday. this is a leader. I, yep. want, I want this guy to play quarterback for me. I'm going to say why. I want him on my team, all right? He never once sold out that dang receiver that stopped the – you know, that converts a route mm -hmm. in, in, like he's scrambling. He never once sold that dude out. Like, come back to the football on that out. Where the hell was he? He's going the opposite direction. Not one time did he sell him out. Okay. Not one he, he, time. He doesn't do that. He never, like that. Sold yeah. out. he never sells out the it's coaching. Yeah. How in the hell does, does, does Dak Prescott, all he does is sit in the pocket now? This used to be one of the best quarterbacks using his legs, mobility. Jalen Hurts, all those type of guys, Josh Allen. He, we, we don't see that anymore. Is that Dak Prescott's fault, too? I don't know. And, and to me, well, that's what, what I don't see. You talked about it, R.C. We've seen this guy play at an extremely high yeah, level. Yeah. Right? Number one thing, Daniel, you talk about protecting the football, right? Playing that position. So true. Yeah. So true. He used to do it about as well as any quarterback Historic. in the Very league. Very true. Yep. And now he's not doing it. So but, he's been reckless and all that. That's why I'm like, look, I, I'm a huge Dak Prescott supporter. Mm -hmm. You guys know that. But – I mean, yeah, did he play terrible? Absolutely did. But I want to dig in deeper to say, why? Why is this happening? I think the, the vantage point is part of the problem, though, because we want Dak Prescott and analysts and their fans, they want Dak Prescott the player to match Dak Prescott the person because the leadership and all that stuff, it's as good as you could hope. But the player is not the same as the person. Jerry Jones says, I'm sick because when Jerry paid Dak, he expected excellent. He didn't even get good. Mm. And that hurts and that hurts. Mm. And, and the question of why Dak has played this way, I've talked about it all year. He hasn't seen the field well. And then yesterday was another example of having no rhythm, not listening to his feet. And when I talk about that, your feet so often as a pocket passer mm -hmm. tell you when and where to throw the football. And on both of those interceptions yesterday, you could see a quarterback that's not listening to his feet when it comes to the hitches. And what I mean by that is how many times your feet hop off the ground. Now watch his feet here. That's one. That's two. That's three. Now, he's throwing to a primary receiver. When you get to your third hitch, it's get the ball out not. of your hand to a check down to Absolutely. a tailback right there. But you can't throw a comeback to the sideline on your third hitch. That's on the quarterback. you got to listen to your feet. Now, one, two, three, four. He's on his fourth hitch. You got a zone defense. You got seven sets of eyes watching you. They feel that timing as well. That's how Ward breaks on it, and then that ball gets popped up to Fred Warner. That's the that that interception that we saw, the first one. That's the same one he throws to Stephon Gilmore right. to yeah. Michael Gallup against the Colts. Here's and when why, you're a quarterback though, and you're sitting there, hitch, 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 it's really one of two things. It's get to a check down because nothing's there or you got to take off with your feet. And Dak is so consistently hitch, 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 and not listened to his feet to where the ball should go. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you another reason why. They're, they're, they're typed. In other words, what do you mean by that? they're sticks. The one was third and nine. You can check it down all you want on third and nine. We're going to go make the tackle on yeah, you. Yeah. But that's you the right up. decision, you know what yeah, I'm saying? No, it's the only decision. Right. Why? Because the, the corner I'm not, I'm not let is you get running that. the route. Yeah. He's running the route. That means you're typed. In other words, I know you're throwing, you're throwing sticks. That yeah. one over the ball, the reason he's taking all those hitches, because – they're sitting on the, on the routes. Mm -hmm. People are playing your routes. That's why I don't see the creativity out of this team. They got to well, do a hard look at themselves and say, how can we the fix other, it? The other problem is this, though. Like, you can explain away doing too much. Right, like sometimes we look at Josh Allen or when Patrick Mahomes was struggling a little bit, we say to ourselves, okay, you're doing too much. We're watching Dak Prescott throw very simple interceptions, yeah. right? Dak Prescott's on, on routes that he should quickly come off of the routes and go somewhere else, on routes where he knows and everybody knows. I've never played quarterback. I know if I'm throwing a comeback, when I hit that fifth step, Bam. I got to have it out of my hand because I play in the NFL, right. and those windows don't stay open. Right. I think that's the thing to me that's the most alarming, throwing, trying to throw the short corner into a cover two against the Houston Texans. And so it's all of these things that dealt with the anticipatory skills of Dak Prescott which he had when he came into the league. Totally. He no right. longer has. Dan, I want you to answer Rex's question because I'm fascinated by it as well. The things he was good at, 
are suddenly the things he's not doing well. And they're not physical. They're not things you it would right. seem you can lose, you know, lose a, 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 yeah. your speed or your fastball or whatever it is. These are things you'd think you'd get better at, seeing the field, reading the defense, making decisions. Yeah. Why has he regressed in that area? I'd say, number one, there's – to a, there's too much of a, I'm getting this ball to CeeDee Lamb. Like, I'm only throwing this ball to CeeDee Lamb. He locks in on him. <coughs> so you, you see nothing while trying to see everything, if that makes sense. Like, you don't see basic stuff that RC's talking about because you're like, and I'm going to break down a play to, that he takes a shot to CeeDee Lamb. T.Y. Hilton's wide, wide open. I think the second thing is, like, you feel the conversation. You feel the Cowboys can't get to the NFC Championship game. And the, is Dak Prescott going to be worth the money? You feel like, all right, I'm going to show all you. It, it's, it's in many ways what Joe Burrow does without trying to do it, you know? Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.